Alrighty, loves, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my beef enchiladas. Going in with these dried chiles right here, we are going to use eight of them, okay? So make sure that you guys grab eight, cut them open, and remove all the seeds. Remove all the seeds, well, as much as you can. <laughs> and then we're gonna put them in a pan, rinse them a couple of times, and then we're going to pour some water. Add some water, make sure that they are covered, put it on the stove on high, then wait for it to boil once it does boil like this we're going to turn it off put a lid on top and just let it chill okay then we're going to go in with some beef stew meat i got around like maybe like two pounds i believe then we're going to go in with an onion we're going to cut it remove all the skin from the onion don't just throw the onion in there all right make sure that you cut it up you just got to cut it up in half that's it so just cut it in half and remove the skin and that is it then we're going to go in with I believe four or five garlic cloves and remove the skin as well all right to remove the skin what I do I just press down with my knife boom and it's so easy to remove the skin then I'm gonna go with my slow cooker add all the meat in there add the onion in there the garlic cloves add some water all right then I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of this good stuff right here and then let it cook for two three hours and boom it's done so I just start shredding it with my fork. If you cannot shred the meat, that means it is not soft enough, okay? Put it back in the slow cooker and let it chill for a minute. But if it's easy just to shred like this, that is what we want, all right? Now we're gonna go in with the chicken flavoring pollo. Going to add it in a cup just a little bit. Then we're going to use some water, pour it in the blender, go in with two garlic cloves, and then the chiles that we had cooking. And then we're going to add the onion that we used, remember, in the pot. We're going to add that in there as well. You can use a fresh onion if you want, but this onion has more flavor because it's been chilling for a lot longer, all right? Then we're going to blend it. Then we're going to add it in this right here, the strainer. You can just add the chile like this directly on your beef, but personally, I don't like doing that. I like to strain it out because there's a lot of there's a lot of seeds and stems left over from the chile, so I like to make sure that I remove all of that, okay? So I'm just going to add all of it in here, showing you guys like this is the stuff we want, all right? We want this stuff, okay? I'm going to use a spoon, and I'm just going to just work this around, okay? Working it, just moving through it, just, you know, speeding along the process, okay? Then, you guys, this is the stuff, if we didn't do what we did, this is the stuff that would be in our enchiladas, and we do not want that in our enchilada sauce, all right? We want our sauce to taste and look delicious. So, I'm so glad that I removed all this stuff. And it should look something like this, okay? Really pretty, really thick, really clean. Oh, yeah. You're not going to use all of this sauce in the enchiladas you're gonna have some left over which is completely fine because you can use it in your chicken you can use it in your beef you can use it in other meats you know to give it a little flavor going in with the pan add a little bit of oil bring it to like a medium heat then we're going to add our beef we're gonna add our beef and then we're going to be adding the sauce okay we're not going to use all the sauce we're just going to use enough just to cover the beef okay so i'm just going to work that in and we still have some left over Remember I let you guys know, we're going to have some left over, which is completely fine because I'm going to be showing you guys in another recipe what you guys can use this for, okay? So, we're going to let it boil a little bit, just a little bit, add the other sauce in a baggie, store it, put it in the fridge, and then we can use it at a later time. Beef is cooking, it's chilling, going to turn it off now and then put a lid on it and let it chill. Now, time to go into the tortillas. I'm going to, this pan, it looks dirty, you guys, but it just has a lot of love, okay? So we're gonna add some oil, then we're gonna use these tortillas right here. Do not put the tortilla into the pan until you know the oil is hot, okay? So it's gonna be able to speed this process 
so much quicker along if the oil is hot because you only got to turn the tortillas a couple of times and boom it's done you don't want to overcook the tortillas tambien so that they are not like a tostada okay you can do that for another day you just want to flip this enough times where it's just like a medium crispy so that when we're folding all of our ingredients into the tortillas it is really easy and it bends with it and stuff and it doesn't just like crumble apart okay so we're just making sure that the tortillas have some crispiness to them all right like this so we're done put them in a bowl then we're gonna go in with this enchilada sauce right here gonna go in with some cheese gonna pour the enchilada sauce into a bowl so it's easier to dip if you guys have a special recipe for the enchilada sauce let me know down below I even put the enchilada sauce on a pan I do use foil you guys do not have to use this but I do I, I don't know why it's just like an old habit that I've had so I'm going to put the meat in a bowl as well and yes i did i did taste some okay it's really hard not to eat it then i'm going to put some cheese in a bowl as well just so that it makes this process so much easier to like dip cheese beef it's a lot easier okay so i'm going to dip the tortilla in go in with some of the cheese the amount is up to you how much you want to add and all that good stuff then i'm going to go in with the beef going to just add some of that roll it and then put it to the side so you see, if we wouldn't have added the tortilla in the oil, it wouldn't be so easy just to bend and move the tortillas. So that's why I do it that way. So just adding the cheese, adding the beef, okay? And then boom, that's simple. It's super freaking easy. It's just, there you go, right there. And then this is just fast speed, so enjoy. Forgot to mention real quick, loves, make sure that your oven is preheated to 350, okay? You could do it during this, when you're doing the enchiladas, before this, but just make sure that the oven is preheated to 350. All right, so we're finishing up. This is my favorite part. I feel like, oh. The last enchilada it just feels so good because you're like you're finishing up. You feel like, oh, it's all done. All right, so I'm just going to fold this enchilada and then we're going to start with the cheese. You can add as much as you want, as little as you want. Just spread it all over. I like to make sure that the enchiladas are very well coated with the cheese. All right, and it should look something like this. Now moving on to my second enchilada plate, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to use queso fresco. I like using this in my tamales. I like using this in my enchiladas. I like using this on basically anything because it's so good. You can cut the slices as thick as you want, as little as you want. It's really up to you. This is like all personal preference on what you like, okay? So I'm just going to add a little bit of the enchilada sauce on the pan, rub it in with the tortilla. You can add a lot, you can add a little bit. I'm still going to dip the tortilla in the enchilada sauce though. So just dipping it, then I'm gonna go in with this cheese. You don't have to just only use this cheese and that cheese, you can use both. I like using both. So I go in with both cheeses and then I'm going to add some of the beef roll it up this is going to be a little bit of a thicky enchilada but that's okay you still just got to be careful of how you fold it and stuff like that so just repeating the same steps and yeah so i'm just going to fast forward this part as well Are you a baby? <gasps> yes, you are. All right, so now I'm just going to put them in the oven, let them chill until it is all melted, okay? Just the cheese, because we're not cooking anything else because everything already is cooked. So this is how they should look. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like my favorite part. It's just admiring the enchiladas. Like I just love how the, the cheese is just like melted on top. It looks so freaking good. I, I, it looks so perfect, like I don't even want it touch it like it looks so freaking pretty Ooh, look at it look at it look at it I just love it all right so now let's start with the toppings I'm gonna go in with the tomato going to just dice it cut it make it chunky but you can do thin slices it's all up to you personal preference now with the lettuce I like using Roman lettuce I feel like it's really good and I just like how crispy it is like it's just a crunch 
when you're eating the enchiladas. I don't know. I just I just like this one. So I'm going to go in with two enchiladas. My baby's like two, so I'm just going to go in with two. You might have a little bit of foil on the back. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. If it does, just peel it off. No big deal. Then I'm going to add some rice to the side. You can add whatever you want to the side, beans, whatever. I like using rice. Then we're going to go in with this Mexican crema right here. Add some to the top. Drizzle a little bit. Maybe drizzle a little bit more because I didn't add a lot. Then I'm going to go in with the lettuce place it on top and a little bit of the tomatoes you can even go in with avocado cilantro onion whatever you want i'm just working with what we have in the house right now add a little bit of queso fresco on top and then it is all done you guys this is one of my favorite meals to make for my family if you guys try out this recipe recipe please recipe please let me know down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please make sure to give me a big thumbs up so i can keep putting out cooking videos for you guys the quiero mucho you guys besos a todos and i'll see you guys in my next video i really hope you guys enjoyed i love doing these videos for you guys and yeah oh i'm so hungry now okay love you guys bye